Hello, hi, howdy, hola. I just realized I screwed something up. There we go. Better. <laughs> Hagfest has come and gone. It was this weekend. It was amazing. Oh, I don't know if you saw my Instagram post that, uh, that I put up yesterday. I spent all weekend singing harmonies. And you know, sometimes you get to be center stage and you get to have the spotlight all the time. And other times you get to stand to the side and just be like part of something bigger. And as fun and exciting as it is to be center stage in front of everybody, it was so, so good. So good to be up there just singing harmonies with everything. It was amazing. I loved it. I got to share a stage with so many, wow, so many talented people, like 30 different musicians. It was so good. Yeah, yeah. And the entire time, Dwayne Becker, the Dwayne Becker, playing Steel. Yeah, yeah. Like, 
right there the entire time. <laughs> yes, yes. I sang with Steve Starkey. I sang with uh, Robert Moss. I sang with Earl Weir. I sang with all of these, with uh, Peyton Ray. I sang with all of these people. It was so good, it was so good. And the, and the best part is, like, if I hadn't been on stage, I would have been either backstage hanging out over on stage right up on my, in my little perch at the Bing, uh, where y'all have seen me post video from, or I would have been down in the green room. And what would I have been doing? Singing harmonies. So yeah, it's just, I, I got to go do legitimately the thing that I would have been doing anyway. <laughs> and I did it on stage. And um, yeah, Friday we were at, in Coeur d'Alene at Lake City Center, and that was great. And then Saturday, we were at the Bing Crosby over in Spokane, and that was even better. Um, yeah, just a fantastic weekend all around. It was so good. Uh, Saturday, Friday, okay. So Friday, I did my hair, and it was all, like, fancy, and I had stuff in it, and it was, you know, all cool and whatnot. Saturday, I got way too big for my britches and too ambitious. So uh, I, I had this whole thing going, right? I braided, had a braided crown along the front and little gems in it. And then the braid was gonna wrap around. And I had a big, like the back of my hair was up in this big roll. And then the front of it was divided and the front was this side was coming wrapped around to cover up the ugly stuff in the back. And then I had a big, like, a, a pin curl over here. And um, then the this part of it was going to wrap around. And it was, it was doing okay. It was solid. But, like, it wasn't as neat as it needed to be. And you can't see the back of your head, right? So I was having trouble getting the back of my head to look, yeah. And the, the very last thing, just no, it didn't happen. So 45 minutes later, I pull all my hair down, all these like 25 bobby pins out of it and, and everything, and the little gems out and the braid comes out and everything comes out. And I just put it in a ponytail and put a hat on. <laughs> and went to Hagfest in my Stetson. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if you can see it very well. There's a big old red mark right here in the center of my forehead because the ponytail wasn't low enough and the hat was like pushing on my forehead. Yeah, yeah, but oh well. I look good on stage. It doesn't matter that I have a red mark today. It'll be gone by tomorrow. Yeah, and speaking of tomorrow, tomorrow morning I am on the road. Off I go, heading out. Uh, tomorrow night, the show is in Leavenworth. I'm looking forward. Uh, a couple people who I met at Hagfest on Saturday said they are going to come out to see me in Leavenworth. So that's super exciting. Um, yeah, yeah, looking forward to that. If you are tuning in and you haven't tuned in before, pop into the comments, say hi, and say hi even if you have been on before. I mean, why not, right? Um, I neglected to make a set list, so anything you want to hear, pop that in the comments, put your requests. If you're on Twitch, I don't have anything fancy, just throw them in the comments. I would love to hear your suggestions, otherwise we're going we're gonna to jump into it in a minute here. Um, link in the comments for uh, my show to get tickets to the show at Jules May. Uh, Jules May's, excuse me, there's an S on the end of that. Um, you heard in the intro, Brittany Danielle, she is going to be closing out the night for us. Yes, Kitty May, who came over, she got one of the awards at the NCMAs this year, huzzah. She's gonna be opening for us, and in the middle, you're gonna have a big old Sean and Mel sandwich. Sean and Sarah were coming up from Northwest Chill. Sarah is not going to make it, unfortunately, so Sean's gonna have to hold up the fort by himself, but, uh, 
we're gonna just be like blending our sets. So Sean's gonna start out with a few, and then I'm gonna go join him and sing on his songs, and then he's gonna stick around and play on, sing on a bunch of my songs. It's gonna be fantastic. Tickets are what, 10 in advance, 12 at the door, I think. And it's, it is a weeknight, it's Wednesday, but you know, we won't keep you out too late. And it'll be worth it anyway, right? You only live once. We're, we're gonna go hashtag YOLO on this one. Good morning, cuz, good morning, Kelly. Thank you so much, dear. It was just a fantastic time and I enjoyed it very much. So big thanks to Rusty Jackson for putting on Hagfest Northwest every year and for inviting me to uh, make some music with him. We are in the process of putting together Rusty's next show, which is gonna be called The Birth of the Blues. It will be on May the 4th, so I'm gonna to need to tart up my Star Wars dress that I made a couple years ago. It didn't come out exactly like I wanted it. I'm gonna to have to fix it and wear the Star Wars dress that night, so. The Birth of the Blues is going to be fantastic. We're going to start with some old blues tunes from like when the blues were first getting recorded in the 20s and then sort of show the progression as we get to modern blues. And knowing Rusty, we're probably not going to go up to like today blues, but we'll at least go up to the 80s or 90s. So there'll be some like Hendrix and maybe some Stones and I'm, I'm going to push for some Taj Mahal and some more recent stuff than that, and we'll see what happens. But I want to be kicking out some, you know, Etta James and Bonnie Raitt and Susan Tedeschi, and it'll be a fantastic show. It'll be at Lake City Center May 4th. Rusty will have tickets. I'll probably grab a couple from him to, uh, I don't know that I even have any gigs after I get back from, um, from tour. I might have a couple. Check out MelDaltonMusic.com. Look at the calendar, because everything's on there. Oh! Harry. <laughs> no jokes about the farmer's daughter. Alrighty. Yes, it was. It was amazing music. And uh, thanks for, for being there at the jam session afterward. That was the perfect way to close out the night. All of these shows, the jam session afterward is fully as much fun as the show itself. So if you ever come out to one of the big shows at the Bing, stick around afterward, pop up to Ovations. Um, wherever we do the show, we'll do a jam session afterward. We don't usually do it at Lake City because uh, there's not really a place to do a jam sesh afterward. But any, any of the shows you come out to, you'll find Harry is always there. He's the last one to leave. He's, he's partying till the late hours of the night. Harry knows how to uh, hold the fort down on that, so. And making music the whole time. Uh, yeah, so anyway, that was, that was my weekend. It was amazing, and um, I'm looking forward to getting out and meeting more people and making some music this week. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, it's almost here. It doesn't seem real. I've been planning this for so long. But, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna grab the guitar. You guys, throw some requests in the comments. I'm gonna do a little Merle Haggard. I'm gonna do a couple originals as usual, but toss some stuff in there, and, uh, cause again, I did not make a set list today. <laughs> Flying by the seat of our pants. We, we can jam after the May the 4th. Yeah, okay. Rusty says we can have a jam session. You know, if they, uh, if they let us have that green room again, we could move the jam session into there while other people clean up. Just a thought. Um, yeah. What did I do last week? Uh... Looks like I haven't done Jackson Brown in a couple weeks. It seems like time. Mm. If uh, Key of H, excellent. I'll do that next. Uh, yeah, if you, if you haven't been on the show before, this song is called Jackson Brown, and it's almost a true story.
That's not supposed to be a minor. Thank you kindly, I said to a stranger, the man who just bought me a beer. I saw in your eyes a pleasant surprise, and you asked if I had ever been here. Told you that you hadn't been paying attention, so I've been around for a while. Left as you told me, hey, I'm looking now, and I think I fell in love with your smile. for my dear cousin down there in California. I want to write in the key of H. I want to tell stories you'll never believe. Expand your horizons past all expectations. And spin you around with the tales that I weave I want to write in the key of H Where vast personalities revel and sing they drink from glass slippers and swim with piranha and pour ever clear over everything. I want to write in the key of H and make the whole garden bloom all winter long. And the bees and the birds and the squirrels in the trees will dance to the wildness they hear in my song. I want to write in the key of H Where Wonderland seems a walk in the park The 
Red Queen will hide when she hears my guitar And tea with the Hatter will be quite a lark I want to write in the key of H Where leprechauns frolic and unicorns play They eat golden clouds and they bathe in the sunset And play naked twister most every day I want to make up a fantasy world And I think you can guess what inspires me to Yes, I want to write in the key of H Cause in that crazy world I could still be with you Alright, here's one that I have never done before, but I sang along with it this weekend so I feel like I'm qualified. I'll never swim Kern River again, it was there that I met her, it was there that I lost my best friend. Now I live in the mountains, I drifted up here with the wind I may drown in still water, but I'll never swim Kern River again I grew up in an oil town, but my gusher never came in And the river was a boundary where my darling One night in the moonlight, the swiftness swept her life away. Now I live on Lake Shasta, Lake Shasta is where I will stay. There's a South San Joaquin where the seeds of the dust bowl were found. And a place called Mount Whitney where the mighty Kern River comes down. Well, it's not deep nor wide, it's a mean piece of water, my friend. I may cross on the highway, but I'll never swim Kern River again. I'll never swim Kern River again. It was there that I felt better, it was there that I lost my best friend. Now I live in the mountains, I drifted up here with the wind. I'm a drought in still water, but I'll never swim Kern River again. It was there that I met her, it was there that I lost my best friend. Now I live in the mountains, I drifted up here with the wind. I may drown in still water, but I'll never swim the river again. Yes, I'll cross on the highway. But I'll never swim Kern River again There we go.
Mm. It's not the Steve Starkey version, but it's uh, it's my version. So. <laughs> Um, let's see, another song, another song. Oh yeah, I haven't done Chameleon in a couple weeks. Let's do that one. I need your opinion, okay? Seriously, I need your opinion on this. Uh, I sent this song into the NSAI, the National Nashville Songwriters Association International, and one of the benefits that we get by being NSAI members is that we get feedback. So you can send a song in and a, like, songwriter who does that for a living will give you feedback on like a lot of the feedback is pertains to like how commercial the song might be or how it might do on radio but it is feedback from somebody who does this for a living so it definitely has some value to it i sent this song in and one of the comments that i got was that the pre-chorus which I only do one time, I only do it on the first chorus, that the pre-chorus doesn't seem to fit because I only do it once. So I would like you guys' opinion on if the song works as I'm about to play it for you, or if the pre-chorus, if I should ditch that. So listen to the song, hit me up in the comments, tell me what you think, I, uh, I need your feedback, because I think it's fine. But I'm only one person, and even though I am writing this music from my own soul and to say what I want to say, I don't want people in the audience to be like, ooh, that didn't fit right, ooh. So if it's ooh, tell me. And if it's hey, great, tell me that too. And if you don't care, then just don't say anything because that's fine. <laughs>
thank you for your vote. We got a thumbs up from Terry. Appreciate you, girl. I'm gonna see you on Wednesday, won't I? I think you said that you had bought tickets to, uh, to Jewel's Maze. So, I hope I'm right about that and I hope I will see you. And if you haven't, maybe you could. <laughs> and bring some friends. Every once in a while, Chickadee will pull a toy out and she'll play with it just for a couple of minutes. And if I pay any attention to her, she like stops and walks away from it and doesn't come back to it. But, um, yay, yay. Um, yeah, but, but then she'll just kind of put it away and ignore it. She's got a whole box of toys downstairs, whole little box of them, probably 20 toys in there. And every once in a while, she'll just go and pull one out. Which makes me happy because I love playful kitties. They, my kitties tend to get it up in each other's business and when one of them starts playing with something, like the other one will take the toy away from her. They're kind of rude about it. So when, when one of them actually does play with toys, it makes me very happy. Ah, uh, what should I do next? I got one, okay. song again because I screwed up the lyrics there. Linda, thanks for joining us today. Appreciate you tuning in. 
It's nice to meet you at Hagfest. Remember, we do this every single Monday. I'm not sure where I will be next Monday. I have an inkling. Y'all will find out uh, when I know for sure. <laughs> Um, yeah, we've got time for one more song, and then I'm going to pack, <laughs> finish the last of my laundry, and, uh, and get to packing. The eclipse is going to be in about 15 minutes or so, so if you are in a place where you can see the eclipse, you should go do that. If you don't have the fancy eclipse glasses, what you want to do is you want to take a piece of, like, cardboard or... Actually, I did this with a cardboard box last time. And you put a small hole in it, and you can tape a piece of paper on the inside of the box opposite where the hole is. And you hold that up to the sun, and you don't look at it. So, like, face the other way. Hold the box up like this. The sun will go through that little hole, and it will, the shadow of it will land on, not the shadow, but the, it's a refraction thing. Look it up. The, the words, the technical terms are not coming to mind. But you will see the sun, and you will see it projected onto that piece of paper. And you can watch it without burning your retinas out. So, it's a good idea. Good morning, Ben! Thank you for tuning in. <coughs> ben Not of the Frayed Not Band. Appreciate you. Nice to meet you as well this weekend. And uh, glad that you tuned in. It is, it is a super cool, chill vibe of connection. We're just sort of building community here. It's what we do. And, um, and a great way to start a week. People hate Monday, right? Because it sucks and you have to go to work. But here we are making music and hanging out. And if you can't do it live, you can always watch it after work. If you can't like tune in while you're at work and be sneaky around the boss. Some people aren't even sneaky. Some people are even allowed to. Anyway, um, yes, so the eclipse is about to start. We are not only in a place where we cannot see the eclipse, it's cloudy right now. So there is zero chance of eclipse in Coeur d'Alene today. But yeah, if you're in a place where you can see it, you should do that. Uh, use your fancy glasses. Last eclipse, I was on a job site. Uh, building a light rail station up in um, uh, right next to the University of Washington campus. We were in the U District. And the guys got their welding glass or helmets out and they were watching the sun, they were watching the eclipse behind their, their welding helmets. So, hey, do what you gotta do, right? Just don't burn your eyeballs out. You only got two, and surgery is expensive. I don't even know if they can fix that. Um, one more song, folks. I need... Angela, thank you for tuning in. Yes, good to meet you at Hagfest, too. Um, you guys are in time for the last song of the day. I don't know what it is yet. If someone will throw a request in the comments, then I will do a, a request. I did not make a set list today. Yeah, I just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh well sometimes we just fly by the seat of our pants sometimes we're the windshield sometimes we're the bug sometimes we're the wiper sometimes we're the bunny rabbit that just got run over I don't know folks um, as a musician 11 a.m. or quarter till is a little early for me to be thinking hard <laughs> uh, mama thank you Perfect. All right. We're going to end the set today with the song that ends the album I put out last year. <laughs> oh, and Harry's got another one. Okay. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to finish with the joke. We're going to do never the same and then we're going to do the joke. Um, yeah. For Harry, who is quite likely at home playing along on the bass.
the trials and troubles I know. why I was laughing so hard there. And I also need to write down a note because I got an amazing song idea. Would you dig in one of those drawers and grab me any kind of pen at all? Thank you, Mama. Um, so the reason that I was laughing, the two reasons I was laughing were, first of all, there's a line in that song And the line in the song is half shirts. She's given up on the bikinis, says that half shirts 
were only a phase. But as I was sort of losing my train of thought as I sang, I'm gonna wait. There you go, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> In the moment, I very nearly sang Hagfest. Hagfest was only a stage. <laughs> Not the right lyric. The other reason that I almost started busting up was that mom is over here petting the cat. And it is springtime and the cats are shedding. So the cat gets up and runs away and mom comes up with this giant hairball that she has in 30 seconds taken off the cat. She just kind of turns around and sets it on the cat tree right behind her. And I'm like, what the hell was that? I have an extra cat now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, br bring it over here. Let's show the audience. <laughs> In like 30 seconds. <laughs> and there's more all over the couch in my sweater. And it's all over the couch. It's all over mom's sweater. It's, they're ridiculous. <sighs> Crazy, yes. Yes, anyway, anyway. Yes, this is, welcome to Monday Music, this is the show. Sometimes the cat jumps on my lap, sometimes she tries to climb on top of me. It's, you never know what's gonna happen. It's like a bag of chocolates up in here. You never know what you're gonna get. But I'm glad you're along for the ride. <laughs> okay, one more song for you, now that I'm warmed up. For Harry. <clears throat> yes, this is a this is a Brandy Carlisle tune. I'm gonna tune really quick. That sounds a little off. I tuned before I did this. I'm gonna do it again. Uh, we like to say that we tune because we care. Yeah, that one was super sharp. It's that B string. Still sharp, wow. There we are. There it is. I lost my capo. It's right in front of me and I lost it. Alrighty. Mo better. Okay. Why do I not have the timing on this one? This is, this, that's gonna be too high. I need to be on the third fret, not the fifth. That's better. <laughs> Feeling nervous, aren't you, boy? With your quiet voice.
gotta take care of them pups right um yes and at least you can watch the repeat so okay solar eclipse any minute now the world will not end i promise uh don't look at it straight on though peaks at 12 30 okay it's supposed to be starting right about now so you have time to go find yourself a cardboard box. And like I said earlier, you tape a piece of paper on the inside here, you put a pinhole on the other end here. Maybe not a pinhole, but like a small hole. Piece of paper works too. You can also do it just with a piece of paper and do it against a surface. And then you turn around and you do not look directly at it. <laughs> and look, yes, yes. Hey, we're, we're, we're all about safety here. Safety third. Um, Yes, or if you have the fancy goggles, if you're bougie like that with the fancy goggles. I am not bougie. I mean, I'm, I guess in some ways, but not totally. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, enjoy the eclipse. If I get to see you, I really hope that I get to see you. If you can make it out, tomorrow is my first tour gig. It will, I will be in Leavenworth at Icicle Brewing and then Wednesday at Jules May's Saloon. That is the only show on this tour that you need to buy tickets. They are $10 in advance, 12 at the door. Please hit up the ticket link. It's the Facebook event link is in the comments. So you can click on that and then click on the ticket link and get them from there. Uh, or if you know Jules May's Saloon, you can just go straight to their website. But uh, that show is going to be fantastic. Um, and then... From there all over, I'm, I'm, I'm all over hither, thither, and yawn. Yes. I'm still trying to book a couple, like, radio and, um, record store appearances, trying to see if I can't pop in some places and maybe sign some CDs. <laughs> We're just going to, I'm going to play it up the best that I can. Um, yes. But I hope to see you soon. If I don't see you on tour, then hopefully I will see you once I get back. And not long after I get back, the 27th, there, uh, I'm singing at a fundraiser for Hadley Forsman. She's an amazing young lady who is going to Europe. 
to play in like an orchestra and so we're doing a fundraiser to to get her to Europe to do a, 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 a tour with that. It is, I forget where it is, but I guarantee if you search it up on, on the Book of Faces, you will find it. And as soon as I have details, I will put it up on my calendar on my website. Um, so yes, stay tuned for that. And then the week after that is the Birth of the Blues show. So you should definitely get tickets for that. You can hit up Rusty Jackson for tickets to the Birth of the Blues show. He will have them. I am going to go hit the road. You all, please, be excellent to each other. Wash your freaking hands. Spread the love, not the virus. And remember, I appreciate you, I love you, and I will see you soon. All right? Mwah.